to enjoy the outdoor concerts here. This year they've got Katie Tunstall and James Morrison playing. But imagine if you didn't have to go to the gigs, but the musicians came to play in your front room. Ian McNabb, one of Liverpool's finest singer-songwriters, has been doing just that. The Academy in Liverpool is preparing for a gig by one of the city's favourite sons. After 26 years, Ian McNabb's band, The Icicle Works, is still drawing a crowd. Anyone need tickets or buy any spare tickets? Liverpool's tough because everybody knows about music and they know about me and, you know, so... Slightly nervous, but very excited nonetheless. As we'll see later, it's this excitement that keeps Ian performing whether it's in the very smallest of venues or the academy here tonight. If people keep coming to see you play and paying money and coming out on freezing cold nights like this to hear you play, that's absolutely fantastic and th the buzz cannot be beaten. work scored hits on both sides of the Atlantic and were part of the early 80s post-punk explosion of Liverpool bands. We had Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Dead or Alive, Bunny Men, Loads of Seaters, Icicle Works, China Crisis, you know, Teardrop Explodes, Orchestral Maneuvers, I mean, you know, and it was happening. It was great. Look the colour of a bright new lace of stone. In the sight of love, we are, we are, we are the child children. Finding a way around the decision. We are, we are, we are. I mean, I, I remember like the whole notion that Liverpool was hot again was just like a big laugh to everyone because we knew for years we'd struggled. You know, you'd send off demo tapes to London. You know, you'd just write London on an envelope and stick a demo tape in it and send it. And people would say, "Ah, oh, you know, you can't come from Liverpool. It's the Beatles and all that." You know, and then all of that changed. And then every it, it was like the Mersey Beat boom again of, of '64 in a way. Twenty years later, because all the record companies were were coming up, and everybody had to have a Liverpool band. Ian's appeal has endured for more than 25 years, and tonight the Academy's packed with his fans. But in recent months, Ian's embarked on a very different kind of tour. time it's just Ian, his guitar and a friend Paul for moral support as they don't know what the evening has in store. Um, we've got Trina and Julius and it's a birthday party for friends for Julius who I believe was 40 last week. Right so are they fans or what? I think one? Tonight, um, he's in Cambridge, playing at the home of a fan whose wife contacted Ian through his website. When uh, the Icicle Works played in London last year, we had trouble parking and we were the band. And I just realised how much of a, a fag it was for people to come to concerts these days, what with the, the price of tickets and parking and congestion charges and babysitters and all that kind of stuff. So I just came up with the idea of going round and, and, and playing in people's houses, you know, I can afford to do it for a lot less than it would for me to go on the road properly. Um, and they get a very personal show. It may be less hassle for Ian and his fans, but playing in strangers' houses does come with its own worries. You, you, have you seen that film Misery? Yeah. Sometimes I'm frightened that I'm going to turn up. And there's going to be some mad fans and they're just 
they just want me to turn up so they can kidnap me and torture me. It could well happen. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but that doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future, you know. So, um, it, it's a bit scary. Well, these guys seem okay. I don't think these guys are going to kidnap you, so. Okay. This is the worst part. I have to walk up to somebody's door that I don't know and knock a door. I don't know anybody that's in there, even though they've asked me to come. And um, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I don't know what's going to be on the other side of that door. So let's see what happens. Okay. Hello. 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 My name's Ian McNabb. <laughs> No. I'm, I'm looking for Trina. You found oh. her. Okay, Trina, Hi, come Ian. here. Uh, you've booked me for a MySpace gig. I have. Is is it? There's no, no. mad axe men in there or anything? No, just my husband. Okay, so <laughs> you just want me to come in and play some songs? I'd love you to come and play some songs. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Let's let's go. Come on. <laughs> Camaraderie. There's something special between you. Something you can see. On this tour, every gig is different. We did one in a place called Skipdale very early on when I, I turned up, and everybody that was there had an acoustic guitar and they knew all the songs. So that was wonderful, just all these people playing the songs with me. And then I just sort of had a bit of a rest in the middle and made, they played the songs for me and sang them. So that was, that was a good one. And at Julius and Trina's, Ian's winning the audience over. One, two, three, four. When love calls me, I will be joining. Simply the final, just what all the fuss is all about. Absolutely brilliant. So Ian's very good value. Whatever he does, he's always fantastic. And tonight, brilliant. Wear a coat, left I think the fact that he's very approachable and you always feel like, if you, even if you're in the audience at a big gig, you do feel like you're connected with him all the time as well. You do very much feel like you're part of it. Not just an audience member, you do feel like you're engaging with him really closely. It's, it's so weird. I've got to be honest. Bizarre and fantastic. Bizarre and fantastic. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah. Funky and I'm free This is how I plan to be It's a long way from a kitchen in Cambridgeshire to the Liverpool Academy but for Ian it's all about the music I think uh, people have got their money's worth but I don't do it for money I do it because I've got nothing else to do I just love playing music and if I can go around to people's houses and do this, jobs are good and we'll be 